Unlike Earth, every new planet we have discovered has been hostile to us. Some could become habitable if we figure out the answers to a few problems like the unavailability of oxygen and water. Others would still be unsuitable for human life. These deadly planets are ready to kill any creature that strays too close or tries to develop on them. Most of the planets on this list are not just too hot or cold. They have more terrible conditions that will never support life. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and please watch the video till the end. This is Sapientia Island. At number 10, we have the exoplanet HD 189733b. At 63 light years away lies Jupiter-sized exoplanet HD 189733b. Discovered in 2005, it has a distinctive Earth-like blue tint. The color came from its silicate-rich clouds. The exoplanet is deadly. The first problem is the 8700 km per hour winds that blow across the exoplanet. That is 7 times the speed of sound, which is insanely fast. For comparison, peak sustained winds of the notorious Hurricane Katrina blew at 280 km per hour. Then there is the rain. The silicate-rich clouds of the exoplanet cause rain of molten glass to fall from the skies. The rain doesn't fall straight down because of the super fast winds we just talked about. Instead, this strange precipitation falls sideways. The exoplanet is so close to its star that it is ridiculously hot. To put that in better perspective, it is so near to the sun that the exoplanet completes a revolution around its stars in just 2.2 Earth days. At number 9, we have Korot 7b. Korot 7b is a rocky Earth-like exoplanet in the Monoceros constellation, 480 light years away from Earth. Despite having a rocky surface that could support life, Korot 7b is not the place to be. Its atmosphere is filled with minerals that form rock clouds. These clouds send pebbles and small rocks falling from the skies as if they were rain. Also, the planet is insanely hot. Korot 7b may also be tidally locked to its star. A day and a year are just 20.4 hours long. This means that half the exoplanet permanently faces its star. The surface temperature of that side is anywhere between 1980 degrees Celsius to 2300 degrees Celsius, which is enough to melt rock. Exoplanet Kelt 9b is the hottest planet we have ever found. The temperature of its star is around 9700 degrees Celsius, which is almost two times the surface temperature of our sun. The daytime temperature on the exoplanet hovers around 4300 degrees Celsius, which is still insanely hot. Most stars in the universe do not even come close. Kel 9b is so hot that its hydrogen rich atmosphere is boiling and escaping into space and right into the star Kelt 9 around which the exoplanet rotates. Star Kelt 9 is huge, reaching three times the size of our sun. Exoplanet Kelt 9b is two times the size of Jupiter and three times heavier. The extreme temperatures are caused by the relatively short distance between Kelt 9 and Kelt 9b. Both are so close that the exoplanet completes an orbit in just 1.5 days. Mercury is 10 times farther from our sun than Kelt 9b is from Kelt 9. Vast 121b is one weird exoplanet. To begin with, it is not spherical but looks more like an American football. But the shape is not what makes Vast 121b deadly. Instead, the problem is the exoplanet's nearness to its star. Vast 121b is so close to its star the temperature hover around 2500 degrees Celsius. Solid or liquid objects cannot form there and everything just remains in a gaseous state. This includes its metallic atmosphere which is filled with iron and magnesium gases. Worse, the exoplanet is losing this atmosphere to its star just like Kelt 9b. Epsilon Andromeda b is one strange exoplanet that rotates around the star Epsilon Andromeda A, which is 44 light years away from Earth. 
the exoplanet is too close to its sun, completing an orbit in just 4.6 days. It is tidally locked. Interestingly, the hottest area, the warm spot, doesn't face a star. Instead, it is on the side that never receives sunlight, puzzling astronomers. Things are a bit different here because the wind transfers the heated air to the opposite side of the exoplanet. Ogle 2005 BLG390LB is a rocky exoplanet with a very thin atmosphere located right in the middle of our own Milky Way. The surface temperature on the exoplanet is around minus 220 degrees Celsius. For comparison, by some accounts, the lowest temperature ever recorded here on Earth is minus 97.8 degrees Celsius. The temperature was recorded in an area of ice-cold Antarctica that has never seen sunlight. An attempt to breathe in that area will destroy our lungs and cause instant death. Press 2b is the darkest planet out there. It is so black that coal will appear lighter if both were ever placed side by side. Trust 2b is the size of Jupiter and located in the Draco constellation 750 light years away from Earth. The exoplanet is black because its atmosphere absorbs over 99% of the light it receives from the Sun. The exoplanet reflects so little because its atmosphere is filled with vaporized sodium and potassium or gaseous titanium oxide. In fact, its atmospheric temperature reaches over 980 degrees Celsius. This extremely high temperature causes some parts of the exoplanet to emit a red glow like the burning coal. Exoplanet Ogle TR56b lies in the Sagittarius constellation 5000 light years away from Earth. It is one of the hot Jupiters. Planet Ogle TR56b has already moved too close to its own star. It is so near that a year is 29 hours long and the exoplanet's surface temperature reaches over 1700 degrees Celsius. Over there, the clouds are not made of water but of vaporized iron. Rains fall to the ground as hot liquid iron. Without a doubt, Venus is the deadliest planet in our solar system thanks to its sulfur dioxide rich clouds. Those clouds prevent useful sunlight from reaching the planet's surface and stop deadly carbon dioxide from leaving the atmosphere. The surface of Venus is filled with volcanoes that emit large amounts of heat and carbon dioxide. The large deposit of carbon dioxide make Venus poisonous for humans. The thick clouds also trap heat and gas, making the planet lethally hot. Temperatures reach a hostile 467 degrees Celsius. The hot temperature remains constant all over the planet, even at the poles. Venus also retains this high temperature every day of the year. Even the nights are as hot as the days. It also rains and snows on Venus. The snow is not made of liquid but of galena and bismuthinite metals. Rainfall is composed of deadly sulfuric acid. However, the high temperature on the planet means the rain never touches the ground. Instead, it evaporates midway to form another cloud. Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star 4.2 light years away from Earth. Proxima b is so close to its star that the exoplanet completes an orbit in just 11.2 days. It is also tidally locked. As we mentioned earlier, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf. One characteristic of such stars is their tendency to release solar flares every two to three months that strike the planets orbiting around the stars. Those flares would destroy the ozone layers of those planets, making them vulnerable to ultraviolet radiation from the stars. We observed one such event on March 24, 2017, when Proxima Centauri released a solar flare towards exoplanet Proxima b. The flare was so intense that the star became thousand times brighter within 10 seconds. Proxima b received 4000 times the radiation that reaches the Earth from solar flares. This is bad for anything living on the exoplanet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and please do definitely subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see in the future. Take care.